Fit like Abadi, Jester here, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. Where we are back with Captain Zotic here. And before we travel to Tatooine to presumably take on Rogan the Butcher, we're going to um, fulfill our debt to the Voss people. You know, we uh, might have broken a couple of the laws there, so it's only right that we pay it back to them by. Doing what we do best and delivering packages. So I'm here on Alderaan first. Then we're going to go to Balmora and then Coruscant. So, and once again, I'm taking the long way around my ship. But uh, if you remember in the last episode, we stopped a um, an illegal smuggling ring in, on Voss because uh, people were illegally smuggling cybernetic creatures from Voss. Uh, to Rogue and the Butcher, uh, well, selling them to him, and first of all, that broke two of Voss's laws. The first one was to not cybernetically enhance anything, and the second one was to not ship anything off-world, or at least no animals. I think, like, maybe, like, plantation and, you know, souvenirs, I suppose. Anyway, Azula Hedge, here's your package. You have fun with that. The boss, thank you, outsider. You're it's a long way from home, aren't you? Not as far away as the Balmora settler, though, I think. Voss settler! Thanks for the business. May your future be clear, outsider. I'm sure it will be, I'm sure it will be. Last but not least is Coruscant. Cavra Steel, I've got your package. I held up my end of the deal. You bring yourself honor, outsider. I'm sure I do. Okay. Let use, me. I've got to use my holocom. Look here. Why are you calling me? The last package was received. You are free of obligation. Thank you. I would have been relegated to hard labor for my crimes. Hey, it's no problem. No. What time are we doing? We're going to Tatooine now. On the distant outer rim. Okay, and it is now the next day, and it is quarter past eight in the morning. I've been up all night. Got no sleep. Rogan! What have you got for us, eh? Time to get our revenge. Just is halfway across the galaxy. Get some firing lessons, mate. Jesus. Hey, you. Does this make you proud? You fool the Republic into drowning you in honors while you fetch and heal for the Empire. What? Maybe you'll kill me, but not before I show the galaxy that you're a traitor. Wait, what? How the hell am I a traitor? I'd hoped I was driving you crazy, but I never meant it literally. <laughs> what? And, and, of course, bloody Sith! Of course. Who else? <laughs> the joke's on you! Bloody overly girly Sith and all. And the Void Wolf. You're awfully trusting, Captain. A man helps you once so you can trust him forever. A woman gets selected so she'll be loyal to the office. See what your patrons are saying now. Once that idiot Captain takes out Rogan, the rest of the gangs will fold. We'll have the whole underworld locked up. Damn it. Then the Void Wolf will keep his promise? When the Empire wins, I'll have a planet of my own? You have got to be kidding me. I never got to thank you for rescuing them from Rogan at Port Nowhere. It was you the whole time? All these missions. You were the one behind them. I never thought you'd survive the King's Ransom. But it was awful good-hearted of you to clear Rogan out of my way. Darmus and Dodonna knew Rogan was getting close to the Void Wolf. That's why they set you on him. Now there's no one left to stand against me. 
So what's your great plan then? You're gonna give us your villain monologue? Since I'm dead anyway, what are you doing once you own the underworld? Gangsters make notoriously bad slaves. He's put together a pirate fleet. The Republic expects an attack from outside, not from gangs within their borders. Chai, Desora, finish this off. You were duped. Doesn't raise my opinion of you, but it does put us on the same side. I'll get your back, you get mine. To Sith. Who sound to be not all there intellectually. Might as well, don't we have much of a choice? I don't trust you, but I don't think you're smart enough to do all this to trick me. Apparently it doesn't take that much. Oh shush. How touching. Too bad it ends here. Okay, and we've got Chain and Asura. Oh bloody hell, this is gonna be fun. Come on then. My work. Bloody hell. She has got a lot of hit. Okay, let's try shooting this last then. Eh? There you go. Do this to get the. Yes, going. Oh, there we go. And then. Now I can kill you. Okay, so the other one was protecting you somehow. Let's punch you. There you go. Woohoo! It's a good thing I got that Cortosis Augment on my jacket. Would have been dead otherwise. I'm man enough to admit you saved my life. Guess that's worth a ship full of blasters. You win. I'm just glad all the good you did the Republic was real and not another setup. Wait a second, you're surrendering? Okay, first of all, it wasn't me who lost your guns, that was Skavik! I killed that bastard, okay? It wasn't me! That's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. Say it again. I just want to savor this. Savor the memory. Aww. <laughs> Beyond you and me, the Void Wolf's got most of the galactic underworld working for him or running scared. He needs to go down. And I'm too old to do it. But I'll give you any weapons you need out of my personal vault. Damn. Appreciate it. Thanks for the assist. I've still got some credibility in the underworld. If you didn't destroy it, I'm gonna rally who I can to aid the Republic. The Void Wolf's flagship is at Corellia. He was part of the plot to force its government to sell out to the Empire. My guess is Darmus and Dadanha are with him. You wanna chase them? I can put you in touch with Correo, a fence I work with. I'm glad I never managed to knock you off. I suppose, likewise. Okay, so now we're going to Corellia. Bloody hell. Well, this was an eventful trip. We made an ally. I made two new enemies, and uh, remind me, what happened to the last person who crossed me? Oh yeah, I killed him. Yeah, I remember that. A guy called, um, what was his name? He was brown hair, ugly, must have been good with words because he had a bunch of girlfriends. Uh, what was his name? Oh yeah, Skavak. <sighs> you see, Skavak only got me, you know, he only duped me for like a couple of months. These guys have been duping me for half a year. I don't take very kindly to that. The Gilded Descent Casino. Looks like it's been converted into a Republic base. So was Rogan a, a privateer as well? Me. I mean, at a glance I'd have to see was. And actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, let's bring Gus along. I was tired maybe. anyway. Captain. Yeah, I, I like Gus. Can you breathe? Right. Reda. Bemosam, mikedem, bayutsheu, pika, beret. 
Eldanise, Chochka, Prostibin, Haundele Brahmi, Shakamti. I'm looking for someone. You know where a man named Kirao might have fled to? Yati haech, pena et sush, pena ya hasele olum. No doubt the usual sort of business. My assistant, Hereda, of the Drawl. Oh, Master Sumali. Seem the war didn't heed our wish, Captain, though Sharis made it back alive and whole. I trust you're here with Senator Dodonna. She arrived days ago and has been overhauling our strategy against the Empire. No, she, she's okay, first of all, she is an Imperial agent. Stop her. She's selling the Republic to the Void Wolf so she can become supreme dictator of her own little world. That's quite an accusation. Considering Dodonna's word is your only source of credibility in the Republic. Do you have proof? The Senate will require evidence. Uh, bloody politics! We don't need proof! Let's think less put her on trial and more apparently unmotivated revenge killing. Every senator is under guard by multiple units of our best troopers. You need to do this legally. Uh, bloody legal! Would it be illegal to beat Dharmas up until he's willing to testify against Dodonna? Good point. Dharmas Polaran? His relationship with Dodonna has been the top scandal on Coruscant. Of course it has. Freda, check our records. Dharmas Polaran's a known criminal. Does the SIS list any aliases or safe houses he's used on Corellia? I'll find them. A slug like Dharmas always leaves a nice, slimy trail. If you find anything useful, I'm waiting on the link. You know, Risha was right about you, Master Sumali. You're, you're a nice lass. You're good people. If, if I'd known uh, that you were going to be here, I probably would have taken Risha with me. Uh, okay, where the hell am I going? Um, okay. You know what, I think that's probably a good place to end off this episode here, in the middle of a war zone. So, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not already. And share this video with your friends to expand the Royal Court. The next episode might be the last chapter in the story of Captain Zrotic, Living Legend. So, with, without further ado, this is Jester, signing off. Oh, my God.